adenomatoid tumour is a benign neoplastic mass of mesothelial origin. And because of this, they are only found in areas or adjacent to areas covered by mesothelium. The two most common sites for adenomatoid tumours to occur are the paratesticular structures and the female genital tract. Other sites include peritoneum, adrenal glands, pancreas, more rarely heart and pleura. In the paratesticular structures, adenomatoid tumours frequently occur in the epididymis and spermatic cord. They may also arise from the tunica vaginalis and tunica albuginea. In the female genital tract, common sites for adenomatoid tumours to occur include the fallopian tube. This is the commonest tumour arising in the fallopian tube. Grossly they are well circumscribed with a grey or white cut surface and are usually 2 cm or less in diameter. And these tumours are most frequently seen in middle-aged and elderly ladies. Other sites include broad ligament, ovary and the uterus. Uterine adenomatoid tumours occur around the cornu. Here the diameter is usually less than 4 cm and they may grossly resemble fibroids. Another site where adenomatoid tumours may sometimes be found is the vagina. This is a low power view of an adenomatoid tumour of the fallopian tube. So you can see the lumen of the fallopian tube on the left hand side of the picture. On the right side is the adenomatoid tumour that extends right up to the epithelium. A high power view reveals gland like structures lined by very attenuated epithelium. Adenomatoid tumours of the paratesticular structures such as epididymis tend to occur between the ages of 20 and 50. They present as a painless scrotal mass and the cut surface reveals a circumscribed white or grey solid mass. The typical size is up to 2 cm in diameter. Histologically, adenomatoid tumours have a variety of patterns. They include anastomose in gland-like spaces, uh, angiomatoid patterns, solid patterns, cystic areas, papillary patterns. The cells are eosinophilic and they may be cuboidal or flattened. The nuclei are small with inconspicuous nucleoli and mitotic figures are infrequent. Because of the variation in pattern types, Adenomatoid tumours can sometimes be a challenge to diagnose. This is a paratesticular adenomatoid tumour. On the left hand side you can see seminiferous tubules containing sperm. As we move to the right you can see the cleft like spaces of the adenomatoid tumour. On a higher power, the anastomosing pattern of the gland-like spaces becomes evident. And at an even higher magnification, the adenomatoid tumour cells can be seen to be eosinophilic, some are flattened and some are cuboidal. The immunoprofile of adenomatoid tumour cells is the same as that of mesothelial cells. So the positive stains are cytokeratins, bimentin, carotenin and WT1. And as an example, here is an adenomatoid tumour showing strong positive staining for cytokeratin.